Hi friends, my name is JJ. Mikey and I are here playing with our best toys. We like them very much. Hello to all of our viewers. We have a huge collection of all sorts of toys here. Just look at them. These toys are literally our lives. I agree. There's no way in the world we can find better toys than ours. I even had time to name each one. I like that red rocket the best. I can just picture myself going to the moon as an adult on a similar rocket. Haha, <laughs> you just can't fit in a rocket that small, Mikey. Into a real rocket, JJ. Look at this. My favorite toy toy is the red dragon. It's more like a red hippo, not a dragon. No, it's a dragon. You don't know anything. Hey kids, what are you guys doing here? We play our best toys with Mikey. Do you like it? Oh yeah, there's nothing cooler than our toys. I'd play with them all my life. I don't think so. Haha. -ha. I don't know why. Because we brought you a new toy. You're like little girls playing with dolls. And you're not little girls. Whoa, what is that? A soccer ball? That's so cool. I want to kick it around in my backyard with Mikey. It's yours. You can play all you want. That's that's great. Thanks a lot, Dad. It's our favorite toy now. Your mom and I are so glad you enjoyed it. Go play outside with a ball right now. Thank you very much. I don't want to play my old stupid toys anymore. Oh, yeah. Your old toys are so bad. Oh, yeah. Your rocket is the worst toy ever. We went to do important business in the bedroom. Okay. We'll leave you two alone with Dad. Ha ha ha. And we'll play with the ball. It's such a cool ball. I can already imagine being the coolest soccer player in the future. Just like Ronaldo. Mikey, you wanted to be an astronaut and go to the moon. It's a silly old childhood dream. It's time for you to grow up, JJ. Hey, actually, I'm all grown up now. I'm not interested in my toy red dragon anymore either. This is where we get to play with our ball. This is gonna be fun. Let me stand on this gate and you stand on this gate. If anyone misses their goal, he's the loser. You're gonna be the loser, Mikey. We'll see about that, JJ. Try to catch that ball with your head at least. Kick the ball already. Stop talking. Yo. And what kind of throw is that? You really want to replace Ronaldo with those throws? You make me laugh. Everybody's got to start somewhere, JJ. It's better now. Try kicking harder, like this. So you want a super powerful hit on that ball. OK. Come on, surprise Yo. me. Oh my god, where did you kick? Why so far away? Mikey, not so hard. I thought it wouldn't fly this far. You can't think at all, Mikey. Where are we going to find that ball now? It flew toward the woods. I think we should look for it there. How are we going to find a little ball in the woods? There's almost no chance chance of that. That's it. I'm gonna go cry in my room. Hey, Mikey. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go into the woods and find that ball by myself. Aren't you scared to go in there alone? No. I'll do anything to make you feel better. You're a real brother, JJ. Thank you so much. Find the ball quickly before your parents find out it's missing. Okay. I hope I don't get lost in the deep and dark woods myself. I have no idea where I'm supposed to find this stupid ball at all. Bye-bye, JJ. I'm gonna go watch cartoons. Bye, Mikey. And why am I the one who has to go and try to solve Mikey's problems. Oh my god, he's the one who kicked the ball and it's his fault. But I'm well aware that he's going to run into some more trouble in the woods. This ball is impossible to find. I've been walking around for an hour. Uh-oh, there he is. Whoa, I never thought I'd find you. Now our parents won't scold us. All we have to do is bring the ball home and pretend it never happened. Hey, boy, what are you doing in our forest? Oh no, it's the Skibidi toilets. You should not have come here. You'll never see your parents again. <laughs> Guys, let's kill him! Ah hey, let me just go home. I don't want any trouble. Oh no, you're coming with us. We're gonna do some funny stuff with you. <laughs> oh no, help, no! Yes, nah! <laughs> Boss, what are we gonna do with him? We'll put him in a test tube and do all sorts of pranks on him. <laughs> oh my god, you're the coolest! <laughs> Three hours later. Oh my god, I never should have let JJ go into the woods alone. This is my mistake. I'm so stupid, I'll never see him again. Hey, what's that crying? What happened to our Mikey? Wow, he's crying for real and hard. Something must have upset him. You're so smart, honey. If a baby cries, it's always upset. Okay, hey Mikey, what happened? And where's JJ? Uh, JJ went into the woods to look for a lost ball. He hasn't been back since. Apparently he got lost out there and got eaten by wolves. It's my fault. I let him go into the woods alone. And I was the one who accidentally kicked the ball really hard. That's why I'm crying. You should have told us right away, Mikey. Oh my god! We need to find a JJ right away. We're very worried about him. We need to put up a bunch of flyers around town to find our son. Let's go with us, Mikey. Okay, the flyers are ready. We'll put them up all over town and we'll find a JJ for sure. Mom, Dad, maybe we should call the police. Mikey, shut up. This is your fault. Just silently put up those stupid flyers with us. No police can help us. No one knows where we can find JJ. Okay, let's go post it on every corner. That way we'll find him for sure. Oh 
Oh my god, my parents are so stupid. This has never once helped us find a missing person. So where should we stick the first poster? Right over here. Glue them to the walls of this church. Lots and lots of them. To have a picture of our beautiful son on every wall. We need everyone to know we're missing. Somebody's gonna help us. Mom, Dad, please, let's tell the cops everything. They can help us. Mikey, shut up already. The only way the cops are gonna know about this is through our flyers. They'll figure it out. We don't have much time, guys. We've gotta keep hanging flyers. Let's go. These flyers are the best. Oh my god. Hey, where am I? Where did you take me? Let me go. The police will find me. <laughs> guys, write in the comments if my parents called the police. I need to know that they are looking for me. <laughs> are you awake already? Then it's time for some super duper experiments. Oh no, I don't want any experiments. It hurts, doesn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> that really hurts. You'll be in agony. Oh no, not again. I don't want to be a lab rat. Somebody, let me go. I'm just a little kid. Ah. Shut the hell up. <laughs> oh my God, we put up all the flyers and we couldn't find JJ. Looks like we'll never find him. That's very sad. How about we finally report this to the police? It's late, Mikey. We should have done this before. Yeah, it's too late to do anything. Let's go watch TV. My favorite soccer game is on right now. Oh my God, my parents are so stupid. I hope JJ finds him sooner rather than later. I still miss my favorite brother JJ just as much. We had so much fun playing together. What a cool dude he was. Yeah, he pissed me off sometimes, but he was still a good friend. I'd love to play computer with him right now, but definitely not soccer. I hate that game because I'll never see him again. Maybe someday I'll find a JJ. Maybe I should walk through our town again. I don't expect to find JJ this time, but still, I miss him too much. I want to see him again, and I will look for it again and again, hoping to find him because my stupid parents have long since forgotten him. Oh my God. All the flyers about my brother's disappearance were blown away long ago, and the police never found a trace of him. Oh, what's this? Those are some kind of weird footprints. I've been looking for them for 10 years. I'm surprised I didn't notice them sooner. Very strange footprints. Maybe I should follow them. I don't think I'll be able to find JJ, but I'm very curious to see where they lead. Maybe I'll find JJ. Two hours later. These tracks lead here. It's weird that we didn't start looking for JJ in the woods. Oh my god, what is this? I've never seen anything like this before. Ski Bitty Labs, they're definitely involved in my brother's disappearance. It's always their fault. What a deep lab this place is. It's all so strange and weird. I'm sure my brother's sitting here somewhere. Wow, what a monster. He's got such a scary mouth, but he looks so much like JJ. Just look at him. What a freak it is in this aquarium. No, it's definitely JJ. I recognize his dumb look from the crowd. Time to get him out of that cell. Maybe this button will bring him out of his slumber and he'll remember me. At least I hope so. Ah, I'm so cold. Stupid skibbity toilets. I hate them. Where am I? What is this glass? I'm like a fish in a fishbowl. It's so cold. It looks like ice. Oh, who the hell are you? You're going to be my lunch. Uh, JJ, don't you remember me? Stop right there. I'm going to eat you. Don't you dare run away from me. I haven't eaten in 10 years. Just look how handsome I I've become. Oh God, time to run. I don't want to be the lunch of a stupid monster like you. Hey, I'm not a stupid monster. You're the dumb one. Ha 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 ha. You're so small and funny. Ha 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 ha. Oh God, time to run. Stop right there. I'll catch up with you sooner or later. JJ, don't you remember me? I'm your little brother, Mikey. I didn't have any brothers. I lived my whole life in that ice chamber. Stop right there, you monster, or I'll shoot you. Ha 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 ha. You didn't scare me. I'm bulletproof, you stupid cop. <laughs> That's it. This is your police? All police officers are completely useless. Oh my god, knocking out a cop with one punch. You're very cool. Eat him, not me. Ha 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 ha. You're so funny. You smell too good. I'd rather eat you first. Don't run away from me. JJ, remember already. This is where you and I played soccer. I never played soccer. I hate soccer. I don't know why. Stop right there. Oh god, don't eat me. You hate soccer because you went looking for a ball in the woods and got lost. Hey, is he really my brother? Write about it in the comments. I don't remember that at all. You're just a little liar who wants to mess with my head, and this door won't do you any good. Oh my god, you're so strong and cool. Why don't we play computer games together? Shut up already. I don't remember what computer games are. Get in my mouth. I'm hungry. JJ, rack your brain. Eating your brothers is not cool at all. Look, in this picture, we're still little you and me. You're my brother, JJ. What? What picture? It's photoshopped. Oh my god, I remember. 
remember. Mikey, you're my brother. I haven't seen you in 10 years. You finally remembered. I hope you don't eat me. Ow, ouch, ah, I, I, I. Ah! Wow, I feel like a human being. I remember everything. I'm JJ. Wow, I thought I was gonna die at your hands. You turned into a man before my eyes. I remember everything thanks to you, Mikey. Thank you. You're the best brother ever. But I've aged 10 years. I'm an adult now. I have no idea how many new cartoons I've let pass me by. You and I will still have plenty of time to catch up. You're right, Mikey. The next morning. I'm at the park with Mikey. Sometimes you want to take a break from work on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. So, Mikey, tell me how you're doing. How's your life? I'm sick of everything. Home, work, home. I want to be an animal of some kind. They don't have to work. I think it's a good dream, but impossible, I think. You know, Mikey, animals are wild and stupid. They can throw themselves at anybody. If you were some kind of tiger right now, you'd eat me. You know, JJ, I'd be a crow. I hear they're pretty smart. At the least, they're smarter than a lot of people today. I'd like to be a crow, too. They can fly. Oh, what's that? Mikey, look out! Oh, my God, not again. Get away from him, stupid dog. Get away. Don't eat him. And don't ever come back. Go eat someone else, you stupid animal. That's some big dog? Or is it a giant wolf? They should only be found in the forest. Mikey, you okay? Oh my god. It looks like the dog bit him pretty bad. He could have rabies. Mikey needs to get to the hospital now. Hello, hospital. My friend was bitten by a huge dog. He needs help. Okay, we're on our way. Great. Mikey, just be patient a little longer. Oh my god. <laughs> Here I am in the hospital. I hope Mikey here gets stitched up from that rabid dog bite. It must really hurt when someone bites you. He even passed out from the shock. Hey doctor, can you help me? Uh, what? Yes, of course. I'll be right with you. What more do you want? I'm actually busy. I'm playing Minecraft. What do you need? Speak quickly. You have my brother being treated here. He was bitten by a dog. How's he doing? Is that the green dude with the TV on his head? Come with me. I'll show you him. Okay, is he even alive? Yes, of course. He's fine. Just a couple bites. A couple bites? Mikey was unconscious. You're obviously not treating him. Look at him. He's safe and unharmed. You can take him home. Mikey, hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This doctor really helped me out. You see, he's healthy. Thank you so much, doctor. That dog was really scary. Oh, I was really scared. Good thing I didn't get rabies. I'd be a monster right now. Rabies? Uh, there's no such thing as rabies. Besides, I'm too lazy to give him the shots he needs. Okay, let's go home, Mikey. The doctor knows how to treat you. Besides, he said you're perfectly healthy now. That's good. I've heard that rabies makes you become a wild monster. It's better to get a bite vaccine right away. It's a good thing I had a smart doctor. Well, that's actually dangerous. You could turn into some kind of zombie. I'm feeling really weird. Something's happening to me. I can feel it. Oh my god, this headache is so bad. Oh, 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 Wow, I can feel myself getting stronger. I feel angry. I hate everything. Oh my god. Hey, it's so nice to relax after a hard day's work in the factory. I can watch my favorite SpongeBob in peace. And the fireplace burning nearby warms me up and gives me the ultimate level of coziness on this beautiful evening. I also got some really yummy muffin cereal on the way home. Mikey didn't even want to try them for some reason, but I'll try a few. How delicious it looks. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yeah. I need them all my life. That's really cool. I hate these walls. I hate this house. Uh, Mikey's on a rampage. He's weird, and I don't know why. Friends, why can't Mikey sleep? Write about it in the comments. He's been asleep for the last three hours. I'm so strong. One punch, and there's no wall. Hey, what's going on? What's he doing to our house? There's a bunch of blocks broken. Oh, hey, JJ. How's it going? Who the hell are you? Where's my brother? Oh my god, what kind of monster are you? It's time to hide from him now. Oh, where'd you run off to? Let's play with you together. You shouldn't be afraid of me. Oh my god, that's Mikey's monster? He got rabies from that dog. I should have given him a rabies shot. Where am I supposed to go if he finds me here? I'm at a dead end. Well, where's that little puppet hiding? I'm gonna find you anyway. I can smell you. Oh my god, he's so scary. A hundred times scarier than 
than that dog. Come on, I'll just bite off one of your arms. No, 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 I still need a hand. I need to call our dad right now. He should know what to do in cases like this. Hello, dad. Hi, I'm in big trouble. Hey, JJ, what's wrong? Mikey's the problem. He got bit by a dog and turned into a monster. He also wants to eat me. Oh my God, come to my house right now. Okay, guys, would you be scared of Mikey if he was such a monster? Write about it in the comments. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to eat passersby on the street. That's a good idea. Two hours later. Oh my God, help somebody, help us. Come here, you sweet butt. I'm gonna catch up to you and eat you anyway. Get away from me. You can't hide from me. A few moments later. I finally got away from that monster. It's on TV, scaring and eating all the villagers. That's not a problem for us. He'll never find us in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry about it. You have no idea how scary it is to stand right in front of him. He kept talking about how he wanted to eat me. You're such a chicken. He won't find us anyway. Everything can happen. Oh my God, he's already here. There you guys are. <laughs> Dad, look, Mikey's outside the window. He found me. But it's empty. You're just making it up. Stop scaring me. I swear to you, he's already here. We're in big danger with you. He's already breaking down walls. I found you, JJ. I'll eat you and your daddy. Oh no, Dad, get away from him. Run. The the only way to survive is to hide. It's Mikey's nursery. I don't know if he'll break it or not, but I can hide in here too. And dad was able to get away from him? Oh my God, help, somebody. He he he, come here, daddy. I'll eat you, it won't hurt. Hey, stop, it's your dad too, stop it. I'm gonna break your whole stupid house. Not my house. Oh my God, Mikey's really become a crazy animal, just like that dog that attacked him. I don't know why he's chasing me. He's just mindlessly breaking everything around him. I think it's time to call the police. They're the only ones who can stop him. Hello, I have a raging brother who has turned into a monster. I need your help. Roger that, we're on our way. Take cover and stay down. Wait for it, we'll be there soon. Okay, I'm waiting for you. I hope they get here soon because I'm really scared. Hey, come on out. We're already done. Oh, uh, was it just me? Who's there? We've already neutralized the monster. You can come out now. Where's that monster? Did you disarm it? Yeah, let me show him. And where is it? It's very dangerous. It likes to eat people. We've already figured that out. He was trying to eat us, but he's safe now. We can shoot him. Uh, okay. Oh my god. That monster ate half the house. Why would he even do that? You think your vending machines are gonna do anything to me? You're wrong. Wow. The police got here really fast. Just in time. The monster has been neutralized. He will never hurt anyone again. Thank you for calling. We'll kill him. He's not going to eat anyone else? I'm the one who's gonna kill you. Hey, wait, you mean kill? The problem is that green monster is my son. We can cure him. Can you not kill him yet? He needs to be cured, not killed. We can go to the hospital and ask the doctor for medicine. Okay, just do it as soon as possible. That beast is very dangerous. Hi, we need the doctor who treated Mikey for the dog bite. Okay, I'll tell him on the phone that he has visitors. He'll be with you soon. Okay, thank you so much. And tell him we need rabies medicine. Okay, I'll be sure to tell him that. That's great. Let's go wait for him. I hope he actually has the cure and can turn Mikey back into a human. At least I won't let them just kill my brother. Some people are lucky to have diseases. Some people catch a cold. Some people get scratched. And Mikey turned into a monster. That's not cool at all. Hello, I treated Mikey. Mikey, what can I do for you? You failed to notice that the dog was rabid. Mikey turned into a monster. You have to cure him. Hmm, I think I know what the problem is. Let's go. I'll help you. I have the cure. Let's go. Let's go. This is where they're holding my brother. I hope he didn't wreak havoc here. I have no idea how the police managed to subdue him for a while while we look for a cure. Let's go to him quickly. Open up, it's JJ. Hello, we found a medic who can cure Mikey. We've been waiting for you. He's getting angrier and angrier. Where is he now? We need to see him as soon as possible. Ask, Ask the woman at the front desk. She knows everything. Okay, wow, there's a lot of cool cops here. SWAT, officers and simple patrols. It's fun. Hey, there's the front desk. We need to ask her. Hello, girl. A green monster was supposed to come to you. We're here to cure it. Ask at the reception desk on the second floor. And don't bother okay, me. Okay, let's get over there. She doesn't know anything. Hello, have you seen the green monster? Yes. Ask our director. His office is on the right in the corner. Oh my god, there's so many people. Okay, this looks like the right door. Police director, may I come in? Yeah, we gotta do something about that green monster. I'd have killed him altogether. We can cure him. Take us to him. This doctor can do it. So, I'm gonna throw my rabies here healing potions at him. I have no idea if it'll even work, but we have to do it. Great plan, guys. 
Follow me. I'll show you where we're keeping that monster behind bars. Let's go. I hope you followed him well. He can break walls and bars so easy. <laughs> Our bars and walls are too strong. Uh-oh. The toughest. Oh, no. Mikey broke the floor and ran away. Hurry up and get to the first floor. He's raging down there. Ah! Uh, you think you can kill me? Take it easy, ma'am, or we'll shoot you. I'm gonna eat you and your machine gun. What's going on here? Everybody calm down. Mikey, don't move. Oh, my God. He's too scary. I'm not treating him. A what? Hey, we're... Where'd you go? You chicken! I'm afraid. You'll cure him yourself. Here's the medicine you need. My life is precious to me. I don't want to risk it. Uh, okay. Should I just throw these drugs at him? Yes, it's simple. Throw them all away and Mikey's human again. Okay, I'll do it. I'll save my brother, even if it's dangerous to my life. I'm about to break your whole police station. All the cops are freaks. Quiet. We're going to cure you. Don't talk yourself into jail time. Oh, I'm human again. Thank you all for fixing me. I almost ate another man. Woo, victory. The next morning. Can't this class be over? We can take a little breather. Math was so hard, I was really tired. I have a physics problem I can't solve. By the way, have you seen our new girl? Yeah, I even talked to her a little bit. She's interesting. We sit in biology together, but I haven't talked to her. Did you really fall in love with her? I can't believe Mikey fell in love. That sounds interesting. Yeah, well, I liked her. Then talk to her by all means. It's time to go to learn. Just don't let me down. What's wrong? Just don't panic. We gotta get out of here. What's that sound behind the wall? Oh no! We've gotta get out of here! It seems we didn't make it! We're not giving up! Stay away from us! Get away from us! Capture their brains! Hack them! They will serve us! JJ, I don't seem to be in control of myself. Don't come any closer! What, what, what's going on? Amphow, get out of here! We've got them now! Catch them all! Ra, ra, run! Capture everyone! No one can be left out. Guys, it's me. You don't have to do anything to me. Hurry up and get her! She's getting away! We can't have her hiding somewhere. I'll catch them all, and the boss will promote me. I think she ran that way. Hurry up and get her. There she is. Come on, after her. Let's go. Barely escaped. Seems like a good place to hide. Well, well, well. I saw you run in here. We're not going to hurt you. Come on out. Aha! There you are. I got you. Please don't do this. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. We just want to help you. Come out quickly. I know you're here. You can't hide for long. Come with me and nothing will happen to you. Looks like we need to look elsewhere. Ooh, I think he's gone. Today is just the first day of a new school. What am I in for? What's that sound? There you are. Gotcha. Oh no. You can't catch me that easily. Take that. We have to go to the vice principal's office. I think that's her door. Yes, I came the right way. Hello? Have you seen what's going on at school? Hello, Amphow. What happened out there? I heard some noise, but I thought it was kids making noise. Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They are taking over our minds. That's horrible. You didn't get hurt? I don't, but the rest of you do. Do you know how we can get out? We need to get to the principal's office immediately. He'll know exactly what to do. I think I found two more. Can't let them get away. Wow, it's JJ. Come quickly follow us. We know where to hide. I'm gonna kick in the door. There you go. It was a bad move to bring us in. You're under their control, too. I'll get the others to pick them up. Don't worry. You won't be in any pain. Don't touch us. We just want to get out of here. Good job. We'll take care of them. You can go back to work. We did well, M1K3. All that's left is to find that girl. We've already caught all the students. Don't get distracted. We still have unfinished business. It's time for us to finish what we started. Keep up. We're being called. I'm here. Who needs anything? Did you get the girl yet? We're on our way to find her now. There were voices in that hallway. Check it out. She must be hiding in there. Let's go look around. Look, I think they're grooming new recruits for our ranks. While we're working, they're chilling. No conscience. I think he was talking about this hallway. We have to hurry. Yeah, let's go check it out. Hopefully they haven't gone anywhere yet. Hey, is it me? Or is that her standing a few meters away from us? Oh no, they found us. We need to hide as fast as we can. Get them! We can't let them get away! Surround them. I'll nail them on this side. Come on, we're almost there.
Wait, we need to talk to you. Don't stop. Open the door. Help us. We're being chased. Why can't we open this door? Who opened it for them in the first place? We need to figure out how to open it. Let's try to work together. See if we can do something. We're on it. Open the door. Don't make us break it down. Dear friends, you can tell us how to open this door by prompting us in the comments. I can't get this door open. Help us. We are in danger. Don't panic. You're safe now. What happened? Open Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They robbed. have taken all the students captive and are making them do all the dirty work. Is there anything you can do? We really need help? I have a plan. I have a panic button in my basement. Then let's hurry up and get over there. The thing is, I forgot where the sunroof button is. Where could she be? Ramp. Let's look. It is somewhere within the, the confines of this table. I have not removed it far away. I don't see anything like that. I think I see something. Is that her by any chance? That's fine. Yes, that's her. Hurry down to the basement. Keep up. They may get here soon. We did it! Get them! They can't get away! What? There's no one here? Where could they have gone? They didn't just disappear. Also true. I think I found how they escaped. Try opening it. It won't budge. Apparently it opens with a button. There's something underneath. Let's try the other side. You could try going through the basement. I'm tired of chasing after this girl. There's not much left. They're at a standstill. Let's get this over with. We've been chasing this girl for half a day now, but it'll all be over soon. We're safe for a while. They'll find us soon enough. How do we proceed? We can't just give up on them. We have to call the police somehow. We need to turn their own stubbornness against them. How do you propose to do this? Their target is you, Amphal. So if I stand around the corner, they won't see me. Are you suggesting we use me as bait? I'll be there for you. Don't worry. Oh, all right. I hope you know what you're doing and that it works out for you. I think they're coming. What's next? I'm going to use the panic button to call the police. What do I have to do? Get over there and distract them for a while. All right, good luck. Well, we found them. Break down the door. We're not going to let them get away. We finally got you. Why did you make things so worse? What's going to happen to me? We'll take you to the main Skibidi toilet. So that's right, do it, release them. What's she talking about? J4Q5 in the back. What? Where am I? Mikey, what's wrong with you? Let him go. Get him. Don't let him go. Well, he's gone. So he's bringing more Skibidi toilets with him soon. JJ, I'm so glad you're being you. I don't even remember what happened to me. We don't have much time. We gotta get out of here. Get your friend up. Hurry up, JJ. Okay, Mikey, get up. We gotta get out of here. I think I hear them. We gotta go. Now we're going to have a very tough fight. I hope help is on the way. They're in the front. Let's fight them. There are so many. We can do it. I'm glad we'll be fighting together. We'll have each other's backs and we'll get through this. Hey, they're coming. Now you're gonna answer for everything you've done. I'm counting on your help. Don't let me down. Is that the best you can do? There's not much left. We're good. Get him. He's on his own. Don't miss it. We don't need any more problems. We did it. But it's not over yet. There are still some Skibidi toilets left. We have to figure out how to beat them. That's a lot of military. Help has arrived. You're finally here. We were able to fight off some of them, but there's still a lot of them. Take us to them. We'll deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you to them. Deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you. Let's show them who we are, so they won't want to come back. Good job, partner. Well, it's been a very hard day. Yeah, we've been through a lot. I was really scared. We have now been rescued and taken out of the school. Next, it's up to the professionals to figure it out. I agree with you, Mikey. Look how strong that robot is. I don't think this group of Skibidi toilets can do anything to him. You are tremendous well done. You did very well today. You're doing great, too. The next day. I just got out of school. It's about time to go home and get a good break from all this stupid education. I don't understand why I even need to go to school when I can work in a factory without knowing how to write or read. Oh, I think I can read this. Like and subscribe. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. And I'm being picked up from school by my parents as usual. Hey, JJ, get over here now. Oh, it's an emergency. I'm getting scared already. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. You want to scold me? I think you'll really like it. Oh, hey, JJ. We have a very cool surprise for you. It's waiting for you at home. You'll be pleasantly surprised, son. Whoa, surprise? I love surprises. Let's hurry home. I want to see it. <laughs> He's already interested to see. What is that? Could it be a new game console or a ton of candy? What is it? We won't tell you. It's a surprise. Get in the car already. Mom, what is it? And I'm not telling you anything. Daddy said not to ruin the surprise. Okay, guys. What would you like to see in this surprise? Write it in the comments. 
chance. And I should really get in the car and get home soon. Hey, at least give me a hint about what's waiting for me at home. I'm very interested. Be patient, JJ. You'll find out soon enough. Nah, just sitting around waiting for us to arrive is not cool at all. Let me guess and you tell me if I'm right or wrong. Ha ha ha, try it. All right, let's start simple. Is this a small or a big surprise? That's a pretty big something. Okay, can I eat this? I think not. It's inedible stuff. Uh, okay. And how much was your gift worth in money? Ha <laughs> ha, we got it for free. Oh, really? A free surprise? You went through the trash and decided to give me a mega cool gift? Something tells me your surprise is a very bad one. You really want to surprise me with a cheap gift like that? Just because the surprise is cheap doesn't mean it's bad. He should go to the second floor of our house to see it. I'm already disappointed with this surprise. Stop whining already. And just go up to your room. Oh my god, I hope this is a stupid prank from my parents. No pranks. This is a very serious gift. We spent a long time choosing it. So you actually found this in a dumpster? Uh, almost yes. Seriously? That's what I don't like. So where's your stinking surprise? I don't want any more. A surprise is waiting for you on the second floor in your room. Finally, I'm going to see this and throw it back in the trash. Don't give me any more surprises. I'm going to see a banana peel and just laugh about it. Uh, who the hell is this? Who's that boy? Get him out of here. Keep your voice down. It's your new foster brother. We adopted him from an orphanage. Um, I don't even know how to respond to that. Hey, Mom, Dad, and this is my new brother. He has such a nasty voice. My name's Mikey, by the way. Haha, <laughs> see? They're already starting to be friends with each other. Mikey, it's your big brother, JJ. I hope you two don't fight. Well, hello there, JJ. We're gonna share a room now. Well, you guys get to know each other, and we're gonna go do our business in the bedroom. And please don't distract us. Uh, okay. Stop talking about it already. We'll play with toys together for a while. Bye-bye. You don't have to worry about us. JJ, be nice to your new brother. Well, I thought you wanted to play with toys. Let me show them to you. I don't need your toys at all. Go play outside for a while. Hey, that's my bed. Get off it right now. This is my bed now, loser. You freak. You can sleep in the closet. Are you an idiot? You don't sleep in the pantry. It's only for storing clothes. I think I may have overreacted a bit. I'll have to see if it's actually a bed. Go check it out, and then you can sleep there. And this is my room and my bed. There's your seat, JJ. Look how cozy it is. No, I'm not sleeping there. You seem to have a lot of nerve right now. Oh, and and by the way, I forgot something important. I should put your toys away and put mine in here. What? Stop! Don't break my toys! No! I'll break your toys in return, you insolent, stupid TV. You've got toys for the little ones. Now it's gonna be a real grown-up stiff. What the hell is that? What are boxes and dinosaurs? You're a complete idiot. Oh, and what's wrong with my dinosaurs? It's not like that. You could put those toys aside and not break mine. You bore. Oh, you're so tedious, JJ. You're so easy to humiliate. I can tell my parents for saying that, and they'll send you back to the orphanage. Don't touch my computer. This is where my little Apple laptop will be. It's worth a thousand times more than your whole computer. Put everything back the way it was. Oh my god, my computer. You just broke it. So what? I'm gonna have my super cool MacBook in here now. Get it out of here and get out of my house. This is my home now. Your parents got tired of you since they adopted me. That's not true. Then go ask them what they think about it. Huh, good idea. I'll tell them and they'll have you out of here in no time. And don't interfere with my life here. Too much noise. Noise? Take that. I hate you. This is the worst surprise ever. Now I'm going to tell my parents what a horrible kid they found in the orphanage. Enough of this. I don't want to eat it. You don't want anything in this life but beer. Hey, get Mikey out. He's awful. Go away yourself. I don't have time for you right now. Play alone. We'll talk later, JJ. But it's urgent. He broke my computer. We don't care at all. I'm not eating your horrible food. If you don't eat it, I'll put it in your mouth when you're asleep. Don't you dare do that, I'll never- Oh my god, what am I gonna do about this annoying brother? Hey friends, what do you do when you fight with your brothers? Write about it in the comments. I have no idea how to get this Mikey guy out of my room. Maybe I should take a walk and I'll figure out what to do. We gotta do something mega damaging to get him to move out of here. But just what exactly? Three hours later. <laughs> You know what, folks? I don't feel like going home at all. It's because of this new baby brother. I'm basically being robbed of my own home. I can't play toys. I can't play on the computer. I don't have all that now. Maybe I should leave home forever. Oh my god, it's raining. I have to find shelter so I don't get wet. Where should I run in to wait out the rain? Uh, this forge will do. I'll stay here for a while, and then maybe I'll go home. Hopefully the owner of this forge won't mind. Hmm, a little kid in my forge at night? How interesting! <laughs> oh my 
god, Skibidi Toilet. Oh no. Calm down. Not all Skibidi Toilets are evil. I'm just trying to help you. What's wrong? Uh, my parents adopted another child, and he's taking over my room, and he's being really bad. I want him to go away and never come back. <laughs> Such a small thing, and you get so upset. Don't worry. I'll help you. How are you going to help me? Kick my brother out? Uh, well, almost. <laughs> Let's go to my lab. I'll show you all sorts of cool stuff that will definitely help you drive away your hateful brother. Well, let's go. I've got nothing to do at home for a while anyway. <laughs> Come with me, baby. Hey, I'm not your baby. Whatever you say, baby. <laughs> oh my god, your jokes are so stupid. You better not say that, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, your lab is so deep. What do you need it for? Doing fun stuff. It's so cool and funny. You don't understand because you're too dumb to do it. Another person who likes to insult me. Whoa, that's a lot of pipes and gears. Do you like it? It's all about making Babe a super cool person. What does it mean to be cool? Big, strong, tough, dude. No one would want to call him Baby. To do that, you have to get in that capsule. I'm going to make you awesome. Big and strong enough to kick Mikey out of my room. Yeah, finally. And now you're a weak and feeble baby. <laughs> No more jokes. Make me stronger, man. Okay, don't move. Otherwise, you'll turn out to be something not cool at all. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> now you're not a baby. You're a real man. Thank you so much. I feel energized already. Friends, revenge is about to begin. You're definitely gonna love this. Forward, my warrior. Show everyone your true strength. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for participating in my dangerous experiments. Now go and teach your brother a lesson. Ha, <laughs> I'm gonna to do it, man. I'm gonna beat him and his whole family. That's what I like. Go on. I'm so proud of you. Thank you again for all of this. Get the hell out of my lab already. Okay, okay, okay. Two hours later. I feel bigger, stronger, more confident. I hope Mikey's still in my room. I don't want him to run off somewhere. Let the fun begin. Ha ha ha. Write in the comments what kind of punishment you want for Mikey. Come on, where's the whole family? Why isn't anyone greeting me? Parents are not in their place. Ha ha, that's even better. No one can stop me from making fun of Mikey. It's so nice to live in your own room. In your room? Ha 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 ha, that's where you're wrong. There's that idiot again. I won't even pay attention to him. Nah, how's that? There's more. Will you finally pay attention to me? Oh my God, you've gotten bigger. What happened to you? It doesn't matter. What matters? matters is what happens to you now. Ha 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 ha. Get away from me, you monster. Come here. You're not so brave now. Ha ha ha. You think this pantry is going to save you? You're stupid. Please don't hit me. Forgive me. There's no forgiveness for you, brother. Redemption is washed away by pain. Ha 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 ha. Somebody help me. There's a maniac in our house. Fight me, you little chicken. I'm not going to fight you. I have to call my parents. No one's going to help you. Oh my god. JJ, is that you? He hits me very painfully. Shh. Shut up. I'll keep hitting you. Hey, that's actually your brother. Don't lay a hand on him. Yeah, punish him, Mom. A month without cartoons, JJ. You're behaving very badly. Ha ha ha. Bad? You haven't seen how bad a boy I can be. Ha 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 ha. Get in the basement and stay out of my way, Mommy. Okay, just don't shoot me. What the hell happened to you? Quiet. I'm asking questions here. Ha 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 ha. Okay, okay, you're the boss. Take it easy. JJ, I'm your mom. You can't do this to me. I sure can, Mommy. I'm an adult. Get in the hole, stupid woman. It's all because of Mikey. But Mikey's our family now. Then I don't want that kind of family. Ha 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 ha. Sit there and think about your behavior. And we're going to have some fun with you. Ha 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 ha. Stop, brother. You wanted to be friends with me. I think it's time we became friends now. What? Now? Friends? You idiot! You've gone completely insane, JJ. Ha 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 ha. Don't turn around. Nice shot, Dad. That'll stop him for a while. He's done some really scary things around here. What the hell is going on here? Why is JJ so big and pumped up? Where'd he get the gun? We should ban him from watching cartoons and going out for a year. I think he should be punished even more. Playing with toys should be banned, too. Great idea, Mikey. By the way, where's our mom? Help! Somebody! Uh-oh, we forgot about her. Two hours later. It's so hard to get up in this bad weather, and it's even harder to go to school afterwards. Today, as usual, we woke up early in the morning to go to school. We should see what time it is and wake Mikey up. Oh my god, we're already late. We're half an hour away from the bell. How could we have overslept like that? Mikey, get up quick. We gotta get out of here soon. If we don't get out now, we'll be late again. Come on, get up. Why are you waking me up? And you look at the time and think about why I'm waking you up. So what's the time? 
Wow, half an hour till the bell rings. That's why I'm waking you up. Let's get ready and go to school. Since we're late anyway, why don't we watch cartoons before we go? On the other hand, I agree with you, especially since I don't really want to go there anyway. Let's see a little bit. You're a badass, JJ. Besides, how could you and I miss our favorite cartoon? What are you guys watching? Cartoons? Oh no, it's the parents coming. We have to turn it off before they see it. I saw what you were doing. Why aren't you in school yet? You're already late. How can you do that? You're late every time. You have half an hour to get to school. We know, Mom. But we really overslept today. We're sorry. Maybe you can drive us today so we won't be so late. Well, by the way, it's a good idea to do that. Especially since you and I have a free day today. See how great everything turned out. Let's go quickly. Let's not waste time. In the end, because we overslept, we would make it to school in comfort. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. It's not for nothing that people say that everything that is not done is done for the best. We won't always be able to save you like this. So you guys don't think like that. All right, then. The main thing is that everything turned out great today. It's true. We'll make a quick, breezy ride today. But you guys don't do that again. We'll fight next time. We've already realized our mistake. It won't happen again. We really hope so. Although, personally, I'd love to do that every day to get us a ride. It's true. Much faster and better to get there by car than walking. How do you guys get to school? Be sure to post in the comments. And it's time for us to go to school. All right, Dad. Step on the gas and let's go learn. I'm doing it. We have to go fast so you won't be late. Drive carefully. All right, guys, we're here. Let's get out and run to class. Okay, thank you so much for driving us. Have a good day at school. Well, Mikey, here we are again. Did you miss this? To be honest, not really. But on the other hand, it can be fun, too. There's some truth to that. You'll have plenty of time to talk. Now run to school or they'll give you a warning. And we'll go home and wait for you there after school. We really gotta run, Mikey. Have a good day. Study hard. See you guys. You have a good day, too. Bye. Bye. Lucky us Mikey and our parents. Although they are a bit strict, they are also very kind. I agree with that, too. Let's get to school already. We're already late, for sure. Now to listen again about us being late, not wanting to study, and the like. But we're a school. You can have a lot of fun here, too. This is where I agree with you. Look at this. I can't help but remind our viewers what they have to do to please us. It's true. We will be very happy if you follow the instructions written on the board. All right, well, it's time to go. We're stopping everywhere. We'll never make it to class. It's true. I wish we hadn't. I don't want to go there. Oh, come on. We'll sit. We'll study. We'll have fun. We'll have a good time. All right, let's go sit down. Down. I hope the teacher doesn't say anything to us. So you two, you're late again? How long have you been late? Do you need to be punished so you don't do it again? I told you this would happen. I've told you 20 times about the tardiness of everything. Well, we just overslept today. I don't care why you're doing it. I'm very angry with you. Get back to your desk quickly and don't disrupt the class. Sit and listen to what I'm telling here. It will be done. That's what I thought it would be. You've ruined our mood. Let's not pay attention to her. We'll just sit here and go home later. And rightly so, especially since worrying about the teacher is nonsense. Today, we have already started discussing our new challenging lesson topic. Let her tell us what he wants, and we'll decide for ourselves whether to listen or not. There's really nothing complicated here, but it's better to understand it all at once. Five minutes later. We still sit and listen to the most educational things in our lives. It's true. She's a very boring storyteller. And in general, I'm bored just sitting there. Let's have a riot. It'll be so much fun. But the teacher will scold us badly. All right. At least you and I will have fun in the moment. Let's jump on the table. Mikey, you're crazy. Get off the desk. What are you doing? You know what? I'll back you up. I'm going to jump up and down and have fun, too. Look, everyone's starting to follow our lead. Look at the look on the teacher's face. This is really fun. What have you done? Why did you do that? The two of you rioting in the middle of class? No, we just got bored, that's all. I will remember your attitude toward me and my lesson. Let her say whatever she wants, but look how cool it looks from the outside. It's true. I told you it was a great idea to make class more fun. Now we can do anything. Jump from desk to desk, talking and having fun. This is the kind of class every child would love to go to. And we're going to be running everyone now. If we want to, we'll come up with new things for all of us to do. It's true. You made our day more fun, Mikey. Even though we're going to get in trouble for it later, we're going to have fun now. Let's not look into the future. Maybe she'll realize the lessons are boring and thank us. Let's believe in him. But now we're jumping. Oh my god. I'm so annoyed with all these students. I hate them so much. Why are they behaving so badly? They're so disrespectful to me. It hurts my feelings. If they don't care about my feelings. I don't care about theirs. I have to make them suffer.
suffer. They'll realize they woke the beast in me for nothing. Law and discipline will be restored to this school. It's time for severe punishments. To prevent them from escaping justice, I must brick up the doors to the school. That's it. Now no mouse will go out and enter this strictest school in the world. And most of all, I hate JJ and Mikey. They started all this chaos. My wrath will fall on them first. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee, he, JJ, we're the coolest guys ever. Oh yeah, now this class can be called beautiful. Ha ha ha. These drawings are just wonderful. I wish the whole school was covered in our graffiti. And the coolest part is that the whole thing was organized by us, Mikey. We're in charge. Yeah, JJ, and no teacher is going to distract us from our teenage activities. Everybody, out of the classroom now. Oh my god, the old chick's here. Time to get out of here, Mikey. Yeah, it's time to get out. Everybody, get out now. I'll kill the last two students. Uh, I think she's lost her mind. Go, 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 go. All right, teacher. It was JJ and Mikey who made us do it. Hey, shut up, you tattletale. Oh my god, JJ. We're the last two students in the class. <laughs> Here comes the dumbest of the pack. Hey, what do you want to do? JJ, she said she was going to kill the last two students. Oh my god, Mikey. Is it the end? Come here, you little bullies. Hey, don't touch us. JJ, don't get too close to her. Come here, you stupid and disobedient student. Mikey, what do we do? We need to get away from this stupid school. You're not going anywhere from me. Ha! We fooled you easily. Now we'll just run out of the classroom and go to our homes. You're so stupid. Oh my god, JJ, we're in trouble. She's bricked up all the doors. Uh-oh, what do we do now? Now the two of you are trapped. There's no way you're getting out of my school. JJ, she's gonna kill us. There's no way out. Uh, it's time to give up. Now you're in for a terrifying punishment for the two of you. Oh no, we're gonna be here forever, Mikey. Oh no, are you crying? That's it, it's all your fault. What am I supposed to do with you? Forgive me and Mikey forever. Everything. Otherwise, he's gonna keep crying. Okay, I'll forgive you if you do a complete classroom cleanup. It's very dirty in there. I don't care. Here's your mops. Your punishment will be to clean up the classroom. Mah, that's not cool at all. I don't know how to clean at all. My mom cleaned everything for me. Me too. I don't know how to use a mop at all. Two stupid whiners quickly started cleaning up the classroom. It's impossible to be in there after you. Well, let's go try to clean it up. I don't know if we can do it. My goodness. We're going to have to clean up after all the students who littered here. Yeah, we've got a huge job to do today. Too bad we couldn't get away from here. Escape! Are you out of your mind? You littered here and I'm supposed to clean it up? Oh yeah, it's no big deal to you. Get your mops in your hands and start cleaning up. Otherwise, I'll make you both cry again. Hopefully in the future, you'll be nothing but lowly janitors like you are now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be a cool rapper. It's not awesome to be a janitor at all. It's such a shame to clean up after all your classmates when everyone in the class littered in general. I agree with you, Mikey. We need to share responsibilities. You want me to do all the work? I'll mop the walls and you mop the floor. Hmm, okay, I'm in. Let's get started. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. We shouldn't have been bullying our teacher. Three hours later. Well, 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 looks like all the work is done. I'm so tired. I'll never litter again. It's so tedious to clean up after someone. Hey, Mikey, how's your work going? I'm awfully tired, JJ. All that's left is to dust these shelves. I just want to get home and get away from all this horror. You don't have to clean up the dust. The whole classroom already looks clean. It's time to go home. Yeah, we've worked hard enough. Time to get out of here. I agree with you. Oh, that teacher's here. Hey, we're all done. Hmm, certainly not a perfect cleanup, but it's good for beginner cleaners. Hey, we're not going to be janitors in adulthood. Stop insulting us. All right, you're all free to go. Well done. Finally, we're going home to rest and watch cartoons. Don't litter like that again and be good kids. Uh-huh, sure. We're going to be real bullies. Hello, children. Hi, Mom, Dad. What are you guys doing here? We've been in extracurricular activities. They're lying. They messed up the whole class. There was graffiti, a bunch of trash, and it smelled like piss. Oh my god! Did it smell like pee? Seriously? But we cleaned up afterward. It's all clean now. They made that huge mess. They're really bad kids. Hey, don't tell that to our parents. Oh, looks like we're gonna get punished, JJ. I highly recommend punishing them. Children, a month without cartoons. I'm disappointed in you. They shouldn't even be allowed to watch cartoons. Hey, this is too much. We apologized. I can't survive without cartoons. Can you even think with your head? Why are you littering here? Because we're bullies, Mom. Because you're idiots, Mikey. We are so ashamed of our children. This is not how we raised you. Forgive us. We cleaned up and we won't do it again. Let's go home. I'll beat you with my belt. Oh, my God. I really don't like this. What are you waiting for? You'll be punished for sure. Let's go home. Yeah, Mikey. We've got a whole bunch more punishment ahead of us. Hee, hee, hee. Revenge is sweet, guys. Yeah, we got outplayed by the teacher. We lost, JJ. You're so stupid. And I'm the smartest and most cunning teacher in the world. Cheer up, Mikey. Hey, get over here right now. Stop hiding in there. Oh, they're getting even angrier. We will get revenge on that teacher, but not today. A few moments later. 
I'm tired of telling you my name. You know me well enough. Ha ha ha. Hey guys, we just got back from school. We had such an interesting history lesson. Primitive people used to hunt mammoths with bows and spears. It was pretty challenging, but fun, I think. I would love to hunt some kind of wild animal or monster. Oh, Mikey, I got an idea. Maybe we should ask our dad to take us hunting. Well, it's dangerous and scary. I agree, though. It'll definitely be fun. I hope a huge mammoth doesn't eat us on the hunt. They died out a long time ago, by the way. I think he would agree. I so want to sit at home and do nothing. Hey, Dad, hi. We want to go hunting. Hey, kids, what kind of hunting? You're just kids. It's too dangerous. I think it's kind of cool. I want to go hunting. Okay, just listen to your daddy. Great. We're going to be the coolest spear hunters ever. Um, what kind of spears? We were in history class. They told us how people used to hunt. Do you want to hunt like that? It's embarrassing. It's usually hunted with a gun on animals. All right, let's do this. Yay, we're going to hunt mammoths. Thanks, Dad. This is going to be really cool and interesting. Then let's go right now. I'll hunt just like our ancestors. We need to get more bows. No guns. Be careful, guys. We'll bring you fresh mammoth meat, Mom. It's going to be mega cool. We're going to go to the woods and have a lot of fun together. We'll hunt big dinosaurs and then roast them over a fire in a cave. Mikey, primitive humans didn't hunt dinosaurs. Doesn't matter. The important thing is that we'll be with bows. We'll catch up with the animals by car. Ha, 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 ha. And this is already fun on a car with a spear. Just like the ancient military cavalry. Let's go already. So fast? Please be careful there. Okay, Mom, don't worry so much. Let's go. Bye-bye. Don't catch cold in there. And don't hunt any super dangerous animals. I'll see you guys at home. Bye-bye, Mom. We miss you already. Let's go. Something bad is going to happen. Three hours later. All that's left is for all of us to learn how to shoot an archery bow. It doesn't matter. We'll learn on our own somehow. We're here. Come out. It's just like you wanted. Wild woods, animals, and no one around. Awesome. I already want to eat wild and delicious meat on the fire. All that's left is to find some wild and dangerous beast. Okay, kids, I have a surprise for you. We really like surprises. Show us quickly what you have prepared. I crafted your bows. Now you can hunt just like the textbooks told you. Hold it and catch the real beast. Wow, that's a real bow. We're just like real primitive people. This is awesome. Hey, just don't aim at live people. Okay, then we can target undead people, like zombies. I'm so cool with this bowstring. It's like Robin Hood. I already want to go archery. Don't aim for your brother, JJ. I already told you that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. It's a real bow and real arrows. This is a very dangerous weapon. That's great. Then let's go find our first catch. The deeper we go into this forest, the more likely we are to find wild animals. Oh, yeah. Moments later. We finally found a wild animal. There's enough meat from this beast to feed our whole family. It's a very good catch. It's a whole pig. Ha ha ha. We're real hunters. Dad, how did you even catch her? I shot her with a bow. It's a very dangerous boar with sharp fangs. A boar? It's just an ordinary pig. You're just imagining it, JJ. That boar could have easily beaten me and all of you, but I was stronger than him. Ha ha ha. Dad, you're so funny bragging about beating a common pig. That's it. Now we're going to take this pig home and then roast it in the oven. I think that pig was breathing somehow. That pig screamed, I can't breathe. <laughs> that was funny. Our dad is so much fun. Pigs can't say anything. I guess some pigs can breathe after all. Plus, they stink really bad. Friends, could you kill an animal? Write about it in the comments. And we gotta go. I couldn't shoot the poor pig. I feel too sorry for it. Could you eat the pork your mom makes? Uh, yeah. Pork's good and so is bacon. Do you realize that a bunch of pigs are dying so you can eat bacon every day, right? Uh, yeah. I only want to eat them. Someone else has to kill them. Haha. -ha. How convenient. You don't want to get your hands dirty and you only want to get the good stuff. Yeah, well, mom and dad are paying for it. I guess that's okay. What if that pig was your friend? If you'd been taking care of it since it was born, would you have been able to eat it? I guess not. I would only be able to eat pigs I didn't know, and I would leave my friend's pigs alive. Hmm, sounds logical. I would do the same thing. I hear something rustling in the trunk. Oh my god, it's the pig waking up. Oh no! Uh, is the pig alive? Oh my god, a pig driving. Ah! Ouch, ouch, ah! Ah! Oh my God, my head hurts so bad. Where am I? You're in the hospital. Stay where you are and don't make any sudden movements. Oh my God, Mikey, is your neck broken? And daddy has a concussion. What happened? You've been in a car accident. There was some other pig with you. We couldn't save it. I don't care about the pig at all. Guys, do you feel sorry for that pig? Write it in the comments. It's her fault we're here. I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. No, you have to stay with us for a while. I don't like hunting and pigs anymore. Yeah, you guys should forget about being active for a few months. 
months. Uh, okay. Oh my god, Mikey, JJ, honey, what happened to you? You're all broken. How awful. I feel so sorry for you. These geniuses went pig hunting. The father ended up finding a sleeping pig in the woods and just put it in the trunk. You're so stupid. You couldn't kill that pig? I felt so sorry for it. Oh my god. What clumsy and stupid hunters you are. I forbid you to even go near the forest. Why did you even go there? Um, my kids asked me to do this. I thought it would be fun and cool. Don't worry so much about them. They will soon recover and come back to you healthy. All right, doctor. I hope so. Please cure them. This is my family. I worry about them so much. I'll do my best, madam. I'm done with your son, though. Have him wait for us in the corridor while I bandage the rest of your family. Go wait in the hallway. I'll be right back to you. Come on, get out of here. You're no longer needed here. Uh, okay. You didn't have to yell at me. My head hurts so bad. Hope you don't have him make any trouble while he's on his own. Is there a problem? What kind of trouble can there be in the hallway? It's not like I'm going anywhere. Friends, are you worried about the pig from the hunt? Write about it in the comments. I hate it now. What could I possibly have gotten wrong here? Whoa! Open door! Let's see what's in there. I'm just gonna look and not touch anything. It's not like anything's gonna happen if I come in here. Besides, no doctor can see me right now. Uh, don't touch? They're just plain water bubbles. That's weird. It's probably just some kind of joke, and I'm really thirsty. I wonder what they taste like. No one would notice if I drank one of these potions. Okay, let's go. Uh, so what? It's just plain water. Why can't you drink it? That's weird. You know, the water's kind of sweet, though. I'd drink all those potions. Here we go. It's actually their own fault for not giving me a proper drink. Only two bottles left. Oh. That's it. This is so good. Now I'm not thirsty. And there's no effect at all. It's just plain sweet water. I don't know what's so dangerous about it. Oh, there's my family. I'm so glad you can go home now. Our hunting trip will finally be over. Here I am. The water was so sweet in there. What? What are you talking about? Did you drink those potions on the wall? Uh, no, no, no. I didn't drink anything. Okay, never mind. JJ's done something wrong again. No, I just looked and stood there. That's all. Calm down. It'll be worse for you if you drink it. Thank you so much for everything, doctor. That's my job guys? Well, can we finally go home now? I'm starting to get a headache. Uh, the doctor said your head shouldn't hurt anymore. Never mind. Let's go home, everybody. And don't say another word about this stupid hunt. No one needs that hunting and those bows anymore. We've been waiting for you in the hallway for so long. I hope you didn't do anything in that office. No, of course not. You know, I'm kind of starving after all this time. I would have eaten alive that pig that caused the accident. Haha, <laughs> eating live pigs is neither delicious nor cool. JJ is kind of weird. Look at his eyes. He's like so funny. Ouch! Ow! Ah! 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 Well, hello, Mommy. Now I'm even hungrier. Oh, my God. What happened to our son? What happened to me? Oh, my God. I'm so beautiful. Look at me. How big my hands are. What sharp teeth. With these teeth, I look like a dangerous predator. Stay away from us, monster. Get away. Nah, nah. I'm stronger than my dad. Whoa, that's so cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun. But first, I should eat my mom or Mikey. Oh, my God. What happened to JJ? He's so scary. It's time to hide. Come here. We'll have fun together. Stop running away from me. Ha 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 ha. Hide, Mikey. That's not your brother anymore. Shut up. I'm JJ. Don't you understand me? Ha 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 ha. Easy. Ouch. Ouch. You're not playing funny with me at all. You're boring. No. Take that. Ha ha ha. Right in the head. The TV's broken. And now Mikey. Oh my god. He knocked out my mom. That's definitely not my brother anymore. I think I'm still the same cool dude. I've even gotten prettier. Now it's time to eat Mikey. He looks so delicious to me. Where the hell is he hiding? Hey, Mikey, where are you? Come out. I want to play with you. Mikey, you know I'm going to find you sooner or later. We live in this room together. Ha 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 ha. I think I know where you might be hiding. Let's see how original you are. Knock, 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 knock. Anybody home? We're always hiding in this closet. You're definitely in there. Come out. I'm hungry. There you are. Ha ha. You're so funny. Uh, you already found me. Can you please not eat me? I'm not tasty at all. Let me take a little bite out of you. Maybe you're delicious. Don't. Ouch. God, I gotta get out of here. You're not getting out of here. You're trapped, Mikey. Come here. I'm gonna fry you in a frying pan. Now you're at a loose end. Ah ha ha ha. I'll never give up. There's always a way out. Hey, that's not fair. Don't run away from me. I've never seen anything scarier in my life. How disgusting, JJ. Don't insult me. I'm older than you. Get in my mouth right now. JJ, come on. I'm your brother. 
You can't eat people at all. I'm not some pig in the woods. And I'd eat the pig too. But why would I want a pig when there's a delicious Mikey running around? Ha 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 ha! Come here! JJ, please, please spare me. Yeah, you're so cool and big. I want to live. But I'm hungry, and I don't care what you want. I'll never be anyone's lunch. Ah! Uh... Mikey, stop! Where are you going? Oh my god, he must be in pain. The next melding. Hey guys! We decided to take a little walk around the village, hoping to find something interesting. Hi, somewhere near Ampho. Hey guys, what are we doing today? We want to take a walk and figure something out. I suggest we go on our journey already. We won't be standing for long. Let's go already. I have a feeling it's going to be something interesting. Let's go. What would you like to do today? I'd like to defeat some villains. And you're Afmau? I'd like to just spend time with my friends. Uh, guys, have you seen this here before? What are you talking about? About this store. I've never seen him here before. Where did he come from? Why don't we go in and take a look? Is it open? Yeah, it's open. Let's go in. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I like it. Let's see what's interesting. Maybe we can get something there. I don't think we need to go in there. Let's move on. I'm gonna go check it out. I brought one diamond with me. I don't want to go there. Go alone. Afmau, come with us. We'll just have a look. I'm tired of waiting for you. Let's go quickly. Afmau doesn't want to come with us. Okay, I'll go in there with you. Yay, let's go. Welcome to the secret skibidi shop. JJ, look how cool this place is. Yeah, Mikey, it's cool here, but look how expensive it is. But look how cool the costumes are. The costumes are really very cool. I wonder if we'll have enough for anything. Check out the discount on the robot builder. The discount is really big. Are we going to be able to get one? Yeah, go buy it. Here's the diamond. Anything you picked out for yourself? We'd like to purchase that designer. The one that's on sale. That's a great choice. I'll count it for you now. That'll be one diamond. Take it, please. Give us our robot. One moment, gentlemen. I'll box him up. I already want to start assembling it. Your purchase. Please take it. Thank you. Let's go to my place right now and get it together. I'm all for it. It's a good suggestion. Let's move out now. Let's go. Guys, what about our walk? We can go out later. I thought we had plans with you today. I think we can reschedule our plans. That's right. We've got more important things to do right now. Come on, let's hurry up and put it together. I'll play with him all day long. Hurry up, hurry up. I, I, I thought we were going out with you guys today. Bye, Afmau. See you later. Come on, JJ. We got a lot to do. I'm keeping up with you, Mikey. So my mouse trap worked. Looks like something interesting is about to happen in this village. It's going to be very interesting to watch this, but it's time for me to close up shop now. We're almost to the house. We'll start assembling soon. I can't wait to start assembling the constructor already. How long do you think we can do this in? You and I need to get through this quickly. I sure hope so. Let's go down the hall. Here, I think there's enough room to put it together. It'll be much more comfortable here. Then we'll launch it right away. Oh, good. Then I'll put the box here. Do you have all the tools? Everything you need is in the kit, even batteries. I wonder why it was so discounted. Maybe he's just alone. Maybe it is as long as it's in good working order. I think he's perfectly fine. Well then, let's get to assembling it right now. Let's get started. Two hours later. I think we're done with the assembly. Look how cool he turned out. It actually turned out really cool. It's a shame Amao didn't come with us. That's right, let's get it up and running. I think it turns on right here. Yay, it's working. Look how cool his moves are. I like him a lot. I'm glad we got him. I'm very happy too, it's like a new friend. I think there's something wrong with him. Where did he go? Mistake, error. What's happening to him? I don't understand anything. I think we wired something wrong. <gasps> he doesn't seem to be feeling well at all. I wonder if we'll be able to fix it. Well, it doesn't have such a complicated mechanism. What's that supposed to mean? I know what to do. I'm gonna fix it. Mikey, be careful. This could be dangerous. Okay, I think this wire here is loose. So let's take a look. Mikey, what's this? What's going on? Holy mother spaghetti. What is that? What's Mikey? I can't let go of him. I'm drawn to him. I don't know what to do. Try to pull me away. Yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Hurry up. I don't feel good. We got hit pretty good. Haha, <laughs> the plan worked. What have you done to us? No need to skimp on robots, losers. What do you mean? Have fun, boys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Mikey, are you okay? I've never felt like this before. Did you feel that rush of energy too? Oh yes, I want to rule this world. Let's electrocute Afmau too. Oh yeah, come on. Then let's go to her quickly. Let's go. I'm sure she'll really enjoy it. I wonder if she's home right now. She should be home by now since we didn't go out. Her house will be perfect for our base later. Let's go finish our plan. 
Yeah, let's knock first, as long as no one sees us. Looks like it's all clear. Up, Mao, open up! It's us, Mikey and JJ, come out here. Let's go for a walk. We're done playing with the robot, come out. I don't think she's home. I think someone's coming. Boys, what's so noisy? Oh my God, what's wrong with you? We have learned the power. We'll electrocute you and you'll be the same. Come with us. No, 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 get out of here. Uh-huh, I don't think she's being nice. So we're gonna have to do this the bad way. Come on, Mikey, show her what it means to say no to us. Well, well, who's being so badly behaved? No, don't touch me. Get out of here. We only want to help you. Yes, how's that? By frying you with electricity. It will hurt at first, but then you'll know what we're talking about. Don't touch me, please. Looks like she's not planning on going herself. I guess I'll have to do it without asking her. I agree with you. What the hell are you? She yelled too much. I did everything. Good job. You did a good job. What's next? Let's get her. I've got an idea. What did you come up with? I'll tell you all about it on the way. All clear, we can get to work. All right, I'm bringing her in. So what do you want to do with her? I think it's possible to draw current through the battery. What if we built an electric chair? Oh, that's a very good idea. We'll charge it with the battery. Then we can store more energy. You're right. But we have to remember that we're doing this as a joke. Just in time for us to build our chair. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's get a move on. She mustn't wake up. We have to get her tied up in time. Uh, honey, look at this. What is it? You didn't find these guys suspicious? I think they're just regular. Then why are they dragging the girl? Hmm, really, why do they do that? Maybe they're playing? I don't think so. There's something fishy going on here. We need to follow them. Well, here we are with our equipment assembled. Time to get up. No more sleeping. What's going on? You're our prisoner now. Let me go. Alas, that's not possible. What but why? What did I do to you? JJ, explain to her. The battery is practically loaded and soon you'll be like us. You don't have to make me the same. And it doesn't matter whether you want to or not. We're the ones who decide everything here. I want to go home. I don't want you to make fun of me. Where are we on the battery charge? It's almost done. All right, stay near the lever. We'll be done soon. That's enough. Let me go. A little more and they'll stop talking like that. You and I are the ultimate villains. But the villains have to be defeated by someone. No one's seen us, so I think we're going to play Aphmau pretty good. Help me, somebody, save me. Okay, this has gone too far. We have to do something. What do you suggest we do? We have to stop their shenanigans. Let's call the police. Good idea, I'll call the police right away. Are we all set? Practically. Just kidding, that's enough, let me go. JJ, I'm almost done, when do we start? In three, two, what? What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Oh no, it's the police. How did they know we were here? Has someone ratted us out? I don't understand anything. Everybody stay where you are. You're under arrest. Officer, we didn't do anything. It's just a prank. You expect me to believe that? You'll tell it in court. It's all of them. They kidnapped me. That's it. Sideways now. We really didn't do anything. It's just a bad joke. I won't believe it. You'll be detained. We really didn't wish harm on anyone. Help me, please. I'll tell you all about them. Now, ma'am, I'll untie you. Is that better? Thank you. That's much better. So what did you want to tell me about them? Aphmau, we were just kidding. Officer, it's all of them. They kidnapped me and wanted to torture me, punish them. We didn't mean to scare you. You're lying. We'll deal with you at the station. What? That's right, JJ. Any evil jokes are always punished. The next day. Finally back from school, I'm so tired. I'm also sick of throwing grenades at teachers. I got kicked out of class, so I came home. Did you get kicked out of class? Write about it in the comments. I was so bored alone at school. Mikey didn't come with me because he had a headache in the morning. I should go over there and take care of him. I don't want to go to school alone. Hi, Mom. Hi, Daddy. How's Mikey doing? Oh, hey, JJ. Greetings, JJ. Your dad and I are cooking something really tasty for dinner. Yes, it will be delicious. What about Mikey? Is he okay? Uh, Mikey? What about Mikey? JJ, Mikey's pretty sick. He's got a fever. Yeah, he's a bad luck guy. He is lying in his room. If you want to check on him, you can go up to his place. Okay, everybody gets sick sometimes. It's no big deal, right? Well, you know, he's been sick a lot. Yeah, he's no good at all. Go check it out. He'll get better. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll be happy when he sees you. I don't think so. Okay, that's a good idea. Mind your own business. You don't seem to care about his health at all. He's probably faking it so he doesn't have to go to school. Oh my god, Mikey, you're all red. Are you really sick? Hey, JJ, good to see you. Probably the last time I'll ever see you. I had some ice cream. I ate the whole freezer and got a little 
sick. You're so stupid, Mikey. You've got a fever of 40 degrees. You can't live with a fever like that. Mom, Dad, get over here right now. Mikey's gonna die. Drop everything and get over here now. What's wrong? What's all the yelling? Mikey has a fever of 40 degrees. Is that a lot? I don't know. So he's still warm. Mom, that's a lot. He won't live long with this temperature. He needs to go to the hospital right away. To the hospital? Is Mikey that sick? That's terrible. But how do you do that? We should call an ambulance. Okay, I'm gonna go make an emergency call right now. It's gonna cost us a lot of money to treat Mikey. So what? Mikey needs to be cured. Yeah, you're right. That's our son. We're supposed to take care of him. Okay, okay, whatever you say. All right, we're calling the hospital. 911, that looks like the right number. Hello, this is the ambulance. What's your emergency? Hello, my son has a temperature of 40 degrees. Okay, we're on our way. That's it. The doctor will be here soon to pick up Mikey. That's great. I hope he helps my brother. Two hours later. I don't know what to do. The doctor's still not here and Mikey's getting worse. So call again, yell at them. It's already getting dark outside and the doctor is in no hurry to treat Mikey. Oh, here comes the doctor. How late he's come. Somebody open the door. Nah, let daddy open that door. No, no, I don't want to open the door. Oh God, I'll get the door myself. Hello, I'm your son's doctor. We're here to take him to the hospital. Show me the patient. Hello, please go to the second floor. He's sleeping there. Okay, whatever you say. I'll take a look at him now. That's great. It took you a long time to get here. You know, it's fall. Everybody gets sick a lot now. Don't worry. Examine your patient at least. Yeah, my brother's really sick. All right, let's go see your sick son. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with him. Just a little cold. We've had a lot of calls like that this week. Ah, uh, I don't feel so good. Can you give me some kind of pill? His temperature is over 40 degrees. What? 40 degrees? That's a lot. How is he still alive? I have to get him to the hospital right away. I don't understand why you called so late. Because you drove a long time to get here. Can someone help me already? I'm dying here, actually. Okay, boy. Get up. We're going to the hospital. We'll fix you up there. You'll be the healthiest in the family. Okay, nurse. Where do you want me to go? Go outside. There's an ambulance. It's going to take you to the hospital. Hurry up, kid. We're not waiting for you. Okay, whatever you say. Finally, someone in this house will help me. No one's given me a pill all day. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be sick in that family. My parents only called an ambulance when I told them to. Mikey's face is already twisted from the temperature. Yes, it's a clear symptom of a fatal disease. Only our hospital can help him. Okay, let's do it. Get him over there. I'm going to be going to school without Micah for a while. That's sad. Don't worry. We have the best doctors in the world. We will definitely cure your son. And you, kid, get in the front seat. Oh, that's cool. I hope I don't throw up on the windshield. Bye, Mikey. Wait, why is the car so rusty? It doesn't look like an ambulance. And why is it rusty? Uh, well, that, I kind of am, I don't know. Really? That truck doesn't look like an ambulance. Why isn't there a cross on it? It's some kind of alien vehicle. Where are they taking Mikey? Hey, stop right now. You're not an ambulance. What's going on? It wasn't a doctor at all. We were lied to. JJ, it doesn't matter anymore. Yes, the most important thing is to hope they cure Mikey. Cured? You don't even know what hospital they took my brother to. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I hope Mikey will be okay. I don't like that rusty truck. All right, JJ, it's getting late. It's past your bedtime. Let's all go home now. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. But you're not embarrassed by that truck? It's a little weird. So the car's rusty. It's no big deal. JJ, go to bed. It's late. We still have a lot to do. And you're in the way. You're talking about cars, trucks. But it's really suspicious. I don't think so. All right, then. I'm going to bed. You guys never cared about anything. Mikey's been sick all day, and you don't care again. And you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Good night, everyone. Tonight, I'm trying out my new experimental substances. The lethality of these samples is about 99%, but that's okay. My test subject won't mind and won't put up any resistance. Hey, I don't want to. Get me out of here. Let you out? Are you crazy? You're my patient. You're sick, you stupid sick child. You're supposed to lie quietly while I inject you with experimental stuff. Mikey, you like shots, don't you? No, I hate injections. Don't, please don't, don't do it. We're gonna do it. Ah, what's that sound? A cell phone? Who would be calling me this late at night? What kind of stupid pranks are these? I'll answer it anyway. Maybe it's something important. Or it's the school calling about my pranks on the teachers. All right, I'm picking up. Hello, who's calling? It's nighttime. JJ, it's Mikey. This TV woman doctor is torturing and abusing me. Help me. Call my parents. I'm in the hospital. What? Mikey, are you being tortured? Are you alive? No, no, she's coming for me. I tied you up. How did you get out? I'm gonna get you. Okay, bye. No, what's going on? Mikey's in trouble. That nurse is using him for her experiments. We have to tell the parents right now. 
I just can't believe it, guys. Mikey's been kidnapped more than once. Mom, Dad, wake up now. That nurse is treating Mikey. We have to save him. What are you talking about, JJ? Mikey called me. He's in danger. A nurse has him tied up and is hurting him. He just called my phone when he could get out for a few minutes. How awful that nasty woman touching our son. What are we supposed to do? We'll hire a detective. He can find Mikey. Yeah, that's a great idea. I read his ad in the paper. He can find anyone. All you have to do is call him. Okay, I think the number is plus one three hundred and two seven hundred and two zero one two three. Okay. Hello, our son was stolen from us. Help us find him. Hi, this is a private detective. I'll be sure to help you. I'll be there soon. But he doesn't know the address. JJ, it's a detective. They know everything. Oh, is the detective here yet? Looks like it. Apparently, it's too good a detective to come so quickly. We should open the door for him. Hello, I'm the detective on the phone. You said your son was missing. I need a computer to find him. Oh, hello. Yes, of course. We'll provide you with everything you need. Come on in. Okay, in addition to the computer, I need all the information you have on your son. Oh, well, it's a green little TV man. His name is Mikey. Where was the last place you saw him? On the second floor. He called me on the phone. Okay, we got to leave. He was picked up by some nurse in a rusty van when he got sick. Okay, I get it. Let's go to his room. I need to see it. Wow, he's such an experienced detective. Where does he sleep? Uh, he always sleeps on that green bed. Okay, so where's his computer? Why do you need his computer? I just need it. Don't ask questions. So where's his computer? The computer's in that corner of the room. Okay, thank you. Don't think I'm playing games here. You can use it. I'm gonna use the last calls to track down that nurse's location. Then we'll go there with the police. Okay, that makes sense. Please find our son. I'm worried about him. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm already looking for him. Just don't distract me. Mom, don't worry so much. We always get out of all sorts of problems. Everything will be fine. Okay, I found them. The nurse and your son are at the abandoned St. Nick's Hospital outside of town. Abandoned hospital? Yes, yes, that's it. Oh my god, I'm gonna find that nurse and I'm gonna get revenge for my son. Yes, we're going to that abandoned hospital. So, here's the plan. We're all gonna go to this place together now. We'll call the police on the way. They'll be here in a little while and we'll disarm the nurse. That's a great plan. Let's go. JJ, you're coming with us. Let's go. Okay, we're going to rescue Mikey. Hold on, my brother. We'll be there soon. Okay, here's the hospital our detective found. It's really far out of town. So, when I was figuring out where the call was made, I pinpointed the exact location. It was made from the basement. So let's hurry up and get in there. Yes, let's go already. We should split up. You take this path to the basement and I'll take the other way. Okay, okay, we're out of here. Don't get lost out here, detective. Okay, be careful. That nurse is very dangerous. Dangerous nurse. I'm getting a little creeped out already. But for Mikey's sake, we have to do whatever it takes to save him. Yes, we're gonna save Mikey. Absolutely. I'm ready to tear that nurse to pieces. Wow, I've never seen my mom so angry. Oh, look! It's Mikey tied up on the table. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Let's go untie him. Let's go. As long as that nurse isn't around. Oh, hey, what good timing. Can you untie me, please? My back is stiff. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, just a second. I'm gonna untie all the knots on the ropes. That's it. You're free. Yay! Thanks for saving me. Yay! Mikey's free. That's awesome. We were so worried about you, Mikey. And how worried I was that she would test all the substances on me. She's already injected a couple of them. Oh, turn around. She's right behind you. The nurse is back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing here? I got some new bunny rabbits here? No, she's gonna give us her shots. We're gonna go crazy after she injects us. Don't do that, please. No, I will first tie you up, and then I will stab you in the arm with my needles until you lose your mind. Ha 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 ha. Who's that man sneaking up behind her? This is the detective who helped find you. What detective? What are you talking about? Hands up, lady. You're under arrest. You are charged with kidnapping and human experimentation. What? There's been a mistake. They came on their own. Yeah, we got that crazy nurse. Now she won't steal from anyone anymore. We're so good. I hate you all. Just sit tight and don't move. You're going to jail to make a fool of yourself, you crazy woman. And thank you, detective. I will find you and I will kill you all. Hear me. Don't listen to that stupid crazy lady. Okay, officer. Detective, you did your best. Thank you again for catching a dangerous criminal. Yeah, the detective is smart. Thank you, detective. Oh, come on, y'all. Glad to help you all out. It's my job. I'm supposed to help people. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best. Mom, Dad. I've been waiting for you. You all got here just in time. Mikey, we hurried as fast as we could. They weren't in any hurry. Your parents gave you away while you were sick. Shut up, you stupid crazy nurse. I'm fine. I think it was fun. Happy end. That's great. Friends, aren't you afraid of shots? Write about it in the comments. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put a like under the video. Love you all. Bye-bye.